Hey guys, what is up? Um, hi, yes, okay, so I just started Vlogmas over my vlog channel and I was like, I'm gonna do my makeup to like, you know, put some, put some juice into the vlog and this is what came out of the look, so this is what we're working with today. <laughs> Comment below if you can tell the difference when a professional makeup artist does my makeup and when I do it. Also, I'm well aware there's a lot of echoes in this room. This will be my bedroom and yes, I'm well aware that I'm on an air mattress. Um, <laughs> No, I'm not in college, and no, I didn't spend all my money on my house that I don't have any money left for furniture. My bed is being delivered this week, so I kind of put up, put off filming in here, and I also was getting stuff painted and stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, my my bed and like my other furniture is not really Beetlejuice themed. It's more like Gothic themed. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you know I'm like obsessed with like pink and all things girly and light and bright, and I just wanted something to be like gothic it's scary because that's like my i don't know that's like my alter ego i'm really into like the hot topic sceney sort of thing i mean i call it alter ego you may call it one of my personalities but tomato tomato um but yeah i'm sitting on an air mattress actually i'm sleeping in my guest room so i'm not sleeping in here um but like if i have people stay over sometimes they sleep in here and it's just good to have an air mattress <laughs> i do have a guest room though with the bed i probably should have more than one guest room but i just don't at the moment so anyways I'm going to do like somewhat of a Black Friday haul for you guys today. Um, and of course, I do things a little different than most people here on YouTube. I don't go out to malls and shop for lotions and, and glitters, although I do love that. I decided to spend all of my money at Hot Topic. <laughs> and I have a lot of Beetlejuice items, including this one that I have on. It says, I'm the ghost with the most. My favorite line in Beetlejuice. I watched it last night and I was like, that line cracks me up every single time. Uh, I'm currently obsessed with Michael Keaton. I probably DM him once a day. He doesn't see them, but it makes me feel better that I do it. Okay, so, um, yeah, so I got a lot of this stuff from, I think all of it from Hot Top. No, there's some stuff from the musical, and I got some stuff from Box Lunch, but I think all the stuff I'm going to show you is from Hot Topic. Hot Topic has a ton of Beetlejuice stuff, so if you're a big Beetlejuice fan, Hot topic coming through. But like I said, this is just like all little stuff for my room. Like the big stuff is actually like from Etsy or like some gothic furniture storage and thing. So the majority of my room is gonna be like black and dark. I wanna get like black curtains and like black bed sheets. Like, and my bed's like this black gothic bed. Um, but I wanted a, a little bit of pop of color. So I thought Beetlejuice is kind of fun. And because Michael Keaton is star of all of my wet dreams, I thought it was fitting. You can't really see him, but back there I have like a cardboard cut out of him because <laughs> cardboard cutouts. So, all right, let's just go through this. I'm gonna go through it relatively quickly because there's a lot of stuff that I wanted to show you guys because I'm really excited. Um, oh, this is not from Hot Topic. So, this is from Amazon. It's a sexy Lydia Deeds wedding dress. And I just really like it. And I would probably just wear this like if I'm going on a podcast or something or maybe my own podcast. So, I really like that. This is on Amazon. It's by Foreplay. It's called The Beetle Bride. Because they're trying to, trying to trick you. I have a big pair of scissors, so I'm gonna just go ahead and put down before I hurt myself. Okay, so this bag is from Loungefly. I'm obsessed with Loungefly. They have a lot of Hello Kitty. Um, I mean, they have Disney. They have like so many. I get so many bags from them. And this is my Beetlejuice one. I wanna get a Beetlejuice Eda bag. So if you guys know any cute Eda bag suggestions, let me know so I can put like pictures and stuff in there. But this one's really, really cute. It says, never trust the living. It's $45. It is an official licensed Beetlejuice. Everything from Hot Topic is officially licensed Beetlejuice merch. So I heard Michael Keaton is going to be doing, um, um, or he wants to do a sequel, and so does Winona Ryder. So please get on it. Michael Keaton is 68 years old. We need to have that legend in a sequel before he dies. Like, I know a lot of people say, like, don't mess with the original, but if Michael Keaton is the original, like, it, it's only going to be just as amazing. Like, Beetlejuice is. It's just, he's so good at that character. He's, I need a minute. Whew. I get really excited. I get really excited about my Keaton. So I got a lot, a lot of shirts, but I guess before I go into this jacket, because it's really, really big, um, I won't like just taking up a lot of space. And it's this black denim jacket. And it's pretty cool, because it's like low-key on the front, and then even on the sides, it has like the little sandworm down the sleeves which is really cool, but then the back has um, this little 
Beetlejuice patch. It says sandworms from Saturn. Which is really, really cool. And I love the patch. Like the patch is like really nice. It's like this silk sort of Black Lagoon, creature from Black Lagoon sort of old school movie poster. Um, and I thought this was really, really cute. And I got mine in large. I think this is unisex. They don't really say anything as like men anymore. I feel like a lot of women get men's stuff. I wanna try this on for you guys, but honestly, this is probably gonna take too much work. Oh my God, who else? Alec Baldwin was so hot, Gina Davis. It's like so, it's like Winona Ryder too, so young. Like we were watching, like I loved Winona Ryder and like those movies like Edward Scissorhands, um, Great Balls of Fire. Um, she, she was just in so much back in the day and I just was like, gosh, she, it's so crazy now to see her in like Stranger Things as like this older mom, you know? Um, I mean, that's the thing, we all get old. I mean, even me, I look back at old videos like, wow, it's like crazy. But you know, I never wanna grow up. That's why I paint in my room like Beetlejuice. Like I'm some emo kid that still lives in her parents' house. I'm like that emo kid that like comes from rich parents and like they want her to be girly and whatever and she has like this huge room but like still like wants to rebel and like go against the man. That's me, but also why can't I get this undone? Okay, it's warm. I put, like I literally put the heater on and it like heats this whole house up to like 90 degrees, like instantly. It's been warm, it's been cold. All right, we got it. Let's see how this fits. I'm just curious to see how it fits myself. Ooh, it's tighter than I thought. Oh, okay, y'all, I'm gonna dye it for real, but like, Wait, this is really weirdly fitted. What? <laughs> okay, maybe I just needed a note with that's arm though. Do you guys see that? What is that? Okay. Something has to not be fitting, right? Because this, <laughs> like even when I put on jackets that are too small, but no, this is like weird. Oh my God, okay. It's literally stitched, which is really weird. That's what it was, it was like pulling. Okay, I was like so confused. <laughs> I guess I'll just cut it. I don't think there's anything that's gonna go wrong if I cut it, right? That's so weird. Okay, that made me feel <laughs> even more of a reason I need to stay on this diet. I started a diet yesterday and I'm like, Oh my god, now I'm like nervous to try this on. Okay, you guys are making me nervous. <laughs> so I don't try clothes on in the video. Or at least I don't leave it in. Okay. <laughs> it's just me not knowing how to put on a jacket. Does this like, oh, okay, it's inside out. Okay, I'm just like so confused. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay, that fits. Like I thought it would. Okay, cute. Mm. <laughs> Okay, that was that was embarrassing. This is a large. It's um, pretty good size. I don't know. I'm like 190. That's a lie. I'm a little more than 190. I weighed myself. You'll see it in a video coming up. But I'm like 190. So I don't know. Go by that. <laughs> I like this jacket. It's really cute. But now I'm just gonna think I'm just struggling to put it on. Can't wait to read the comments on that one. Um, Okay, I have a lot of stuff over here that I keep hitting and wrestling around. I'm get into that. Oh, I loved this. I'm totally gonna do this on my OnlyFans and Patreon. A little sandworm thong action, which I thought was pretty scandalous for Beetlejuice merch. Like it's, but I, I love it. I mean, I guess Beetlejuice is kind of scandalous, but it's like, okay, yeah, I'll get into that. And then I got a bunch of shirts. Well, these are pants. Black sweatpants, because I like low sweatpants. I mean, I'm on a diet now, but that diet's gonna end in a couple weeks, and then I'll start again in January, but like, I wanna enjoy the holidays too, but I have a music video coming up, so I'm trying to, <sighs> trying to look good for that. The struggle of being a pop star, y'all. Um, all right, then we have another lounge pants with the infamous sandworm on it. It's another large unisex, so it should fit. <clears throat> These are pretty cute too. These have like a little green turquoise ribbon. If I could do anything in life that I can't do in life, it would be ride a sandworm. I think it's really cool. I'm trying to think of the musical, if the musical had a, they had a snake. I don't think anyone wrote it. Wait, am I like getting that wrong? Did you, I don't want to spoil it. Okay. 
you know what? Never. I'm not going to spoil it. We'll talk more about the musical in a bit because I have some merch from that. Um, then I got this kitchen towel set, which I'm actually going to use because right now I have a Little Mermaid down there. You guys saw me making my cheese fries yesterday here on this channel. Um, <clears throat> I used a little sandworm um, oven mitt, so I got these this really big towels for the kitchen. Got a uh, hamburger of the recently deceased and a Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Me all hoping he appears. I'm like, oh, I'm ready for some action. It's really weird. Sorry, I'm talking kind of like quiet and soft and not my usual self because it's just so weird to have like no furniture in here. So it feels just like hollow and empty. Like my soul around the holidays. Um, okay, moving on. This is a little book. This is really cute. This is like, well, it's like a little purse. Um, so I've always kind of avoided having something like this in my house. I don't know why. It gives me a little bit of a creepy vibe, but you know, I need to get out of that headspace. It's just a freaking movie, and I thought this was really cute, so I went ahead and got it, and I thought it was a perfect accessory for when I wear my Beetlejuice shirts out, so this is a little handbag, um, and I thought that's like a cool little prop. If you have like a Beetlejuice room, it's a really cool prop. Inside it says, trouble by the living, is death the problem and not the solution? I'm happy with eternity, then called Beetlejuice. And that's a little Beetlejuice thing. And then it does have like a little strap inside. Just like really nice, like a big old chain strap so you can wear it as a crossbody or as a cute little purse. Just a shoulder bag. And I thought that was really cute. It's actually quite roomy too. So I really, really love that. I feel like this is a very iconic thing in the movie, in the play. So, I have to get it. All right, I think that's it for all the stuff on the floor. Um, and then I got these cute little bins. These were also from Hot Topic, and I thought these were cute for like cords and DVDs and a bunch of like loose stuff that always hangs around on my TV. I know it's like remote, stuff like that that just gets lost and just looks ugly. So I thought I'd put them in these cute little boxes, but they're also holding some more stuff I got. I got a lot of stuff actually. I went a little, a little crazy. Um, this is another handbook of recently deceased, but it's just really cool because it is a makeup palette, which I don't know how great the shadows are. I should have tried this, but you know what? I will say the colors are spot on if you want to do a Beetlejuice look. So, um, I think that's really smart because it is kind of hard to find purples and greens as I figured out today. If you want to see how I got ready, head on over to my second channel. I'm doing vlogmas where I'm vlogging every single day, which is actually different for me over there because I usually don't put up vlogs every day but I'm trying really hard to start from the, the minute I wake up to the minute I go to bed so um yeah I mean they're pretty colors I don't know how pigmented these are but again it's more like a decoration thing and then if you can use the makeup that's not a bonus Let's see what else we got okay this is a bunch of little stuff oh I got like Olaf earrings this is a bunch of frozen stuff I got a frozen pendant and a frozen Olaf necklace. That's a different personality. That's a different Trish. Don't know her right now. Um, and then I got this Beetlejuice bracelet, which I don't know if I really needed that. So this is the first thing I got where I'm like, oh. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Moving on. I got, well, it's winter time, so I got a bunch of hats and scarves. Um, especially because I'll be going to New York again pretty soon. So I got eight Beetlejuice hats. And I just love the colors. I think that's the main thing. Like I love, like I have one black wall, but I have like, this is purple, but it's kind of hard to tell. It's kind of dark. And then I have a green wall over there. And then of course the iconic striped wall, but I really loved the pop of colors, the whole color scheme. I thought that was really pretty. I've always liked that. Oh, this was the shirt I was looking for. I wanted to wear this one today, but it's okay. I have other days to wear it. Um, this is like the iconic movie poster. It has the ghost with the most on the back and the Beetlejuice and all that fun stuff. Um, the Afterlife's Leading a Bio Exorcist. I love that. I really love that they have the ghost with the most. I guess that's, that is an iconic line. I don't remember that so much. Like when I started getting into it again, I like rewatched it and I was like, oh yeah, I like love that line. It's so funny. It's so good. <clears throat> um, so there's the wrapping into the boxes. They came flat. If anyone's curious about that. I got these cozy little house socks with the green beetle. And this green beetle is actually the one they use for the musical merch as well. I'm gonna show you that at the end of all this. Um, I got some gloves, which I'm loving gloves. I've been ordering a ton of gloves off Etsy, like fur gloves and just cute gloves. I think, I don't know, hopefully these fit. These look hella small. Oh yeah, they fit. So cute. <gasps> I don't 
know, gloves just kind of like give you a kind of like an edgy or feel like a little punk rock feel. These are really cool. I kind of just, <laughs> just want to wear them. Um, they're really cute. I got so many Beetlejuice shirts. I might have been a little, a little crazy. I can't help it when you're in love. <laughs> um, a secret card. I got a pillowcase set. It's basically a Beetlejuice, 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 and a sandworm. I swear, every time I say that, like the little kid in me it thinks he's gonna like appear. Knowing my luck, the real Beetlejuice would like be so ugly and like not cute. Like all the guys who have uh, performed as Beetlejuice are like hot, you know? what okay so it looks like is this just one it might just be one it might just be reversible which is still pretty cool because i don't think you need oh no there's two there's definitely two and it's definitely not oh yeah they're both reversible that's cool i need to get regular pillows in fact i need to make a note of that because i have size pillows that go with my fancy silk sheets but i don't think i have regular pillows size pillows or Pillow size. Sorry, I'm literally making that note because I will literally forget if I don't write it down now. Um, yeah, I think these are just standard sizes. Yeah, two standard size pillowcases. Okay, we got that figured out. Um, okay, just so many, so many merch. But I love oversized shirts. They're my favorite thing in the whole world. Got this one. Oh, this is a, a long sleeve one. And I like this one because it's, again, very kind of simple. And then on the back, it has like those varsity letters. It says it's showtime. Which I thought was so super cute. And again, just like the colors make me really, really happy. I don't know why. Like even the Beetlejuice is supposed to be like scary and like Halloween. And it's like very much associated with Halloween time. It makes me feel good. I don't know if it's also like, I don't know. It's just funny and cute. I don't know. And I don't like scary movies or creepy movies or movies about death. I really don't. So it's very, very odd that I love Beetlejuice so much. I don't know. And then this is the other... Oh, well, here's a sandworm that keeps trying to escape. This one's kind of whatever. I thought it was going to be a little bigger, but it's kind of cute. Um, then I have this box. It came in a set of two, so you get both of them. And that's the Beetlejuice scarf, again, with the colors. I just think it's so cool. It's a really nice scarf. Just sort of winter-esque. Oh my gosh, guys, there's so much. I'm so sorry. Like, I literally don't even think I should take time to open all this. I got a little picture frame. Um, when I went to the Broadway show, I we all got a picture and I wanted to like put in there socks because I'm obsessed with socks. So I always I get socks from like every movie, even if I don't like it, like Winnie the Pooh. I have, like Winnie the Pooh socks and I don't even care about Winnie the Pooh. Beetlejuice playing cards and a sticky note set. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this is, should be sponsored by Hot Topic. Um, oh, I got shot glasses because you know I like to have shots at night. Little fireball. <laughs> And actually, I don't have them. I was seriously taking these out of, like, the big red cups. I was taking, like, shots out of there. Um, but these are pretty cute. So, I actually put those. Maybe I'll keep them up here with my fireball. When I just want to take shots by myself. To fall asleep. Um, and then... I got more socks. I, myself, am strange and unusual socks. And then a little sandworm nightlight. So this is not a toy. Got it. So it's a mood light, not a night light. You might need batteries for this. Or you might just have to take this out. Let me see. Aha! Uh -huh. We have a sandworm mood light. It's lighting up, but it's like, because I have so much light on. You can't really see. But that's cool. Oh, it flashes too. Cool. That's really cool. I love the sandworm. It's really cool. Tim Burton's movie is so good. Like, just like the, the weirdness of it and the graphics and like, the, even the town and the bridge and the colors like the way Tim Burton shoots movies is so cool I I love him I tried to audition twice for Tim Burton and each time kind of got something got in the way one time I went to an open call when I was like 15 to audition for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory I would have been too old anyways most of the kids there were very young but um I just wanted to like get a chance to be seen by him and then I had another one for um Alice in Wonderland, but I don't know if that was like a legit one. Because rather than Talk Factory, I don't know if it was legit either because we drove to Asheville, North Carolina at our audition. It could have been just like hype for the movie, more than likely was, but I've always loved Tim Burton. His movies are very, very cool. Okay, so a couple more things from Hot Topic, and it's just a bunch of shirts. So I'm going to go through these relatively quickly. I got this one. 
Oh, this one's kind of cool because it has some like some cut like tears into the the neckline. I don't know if you guys can see. It's pretty cool. This is a different kind of material. It's very soft. It has that same sort of artwork that was on the back of the jacket. I really like it. It's very cool. I love the designs. I got a Beetlejuice stocking because you know it's Halloween. I have a purple tree over there. I'm hoping I can get this room together in time for a room tour before Christmas because I have like a Beetlejuice three. And then I got this shirt. This is kind of cool and different. It's like this tie-dye Beetlejuice one. It's more fitted. Again, I just kind of like the colors. It's kind of cool. I don't know. It has a cute little tie too down here. And then I got this clock, but I'm kind of rethinking this. I mean, it's going to be cute. It's kind of small. Should I have a small room? I just kind of have a, a too big of a room, humble brag. Um, but no, I actually have a, a Beetlejuice sign being made, a neon sign for my room, which I think will kind of put this to shame because this is supposed to kind of um, be a replica of the, the neon sign that shows where Beetlejuice is in the little um, Maitland's like, town. But I got a big one made because, you know, I'm extra, so... I don't know. I'm, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to find a cute little place for it. Maybe above my nightstand or something. I don't know. Somewhere cute, but it is a little small, so and maybe it's meant for literal college students, like kids in dorms or kids in high school that have to share bedrooms. I don't know. Probably not meant for 31-year-old adults that have master bedrooms in their houses. <laughs> uh, oh my god, there's so much even over there, I just noticed. Oh my goodness. This one came in a box. I'm really dying to know what's inside of it. Because most everything else kind of came just as is. I'm scared of these. Scissors. Oh, putting them on the air mattress, which is not smart, don't they? So they're on the air mattress. Okay. This is Olivia cereals. These are Funkos. Um, this is really cool. I thought this was really neat. I don't know if I should this up here. I don't know if I have ants in this house yet or not. But um, yeah, I guess it's cereal you can actually eat. Which is pretty cool. I mean, I probably won't eat them because they're they're like pretty legit. I don't know. I really like these. These are cool. These are actually so cute. But yeah. Oh, they should make cereals like this for real, like in the grocery store. How cute would that be? But it includes a Lydia Funko character. I love that. Okay, my other pile is getting lost. Literally, it's all being mixed in. Okay. There is a couple more things from Hot Topic. There's some Beetlejuice socks. Oh my god, this one is an hour long haul. I got this from the same people who made the cereal. It was Pop Funko, and it has the Inferno, the Dante's Inferno room, which is like the little strip club, which is actually a really funny part of the movie. I wish they would have incorporated it into the, the musical. Um, but he has his little spikes out and stuff. I don't know if you guys can see it. It has like people just has his little spikes out. So that's the part where she like picks him up and then he puts the spikes so it like hurts her and she like lets him down, which is kind of weird that that hurts her because at the opening scene when she's like has her hand in fire and the fire is on her tip, she doesn't even realize it and she goes, uh, so it's kind of weird the spikes would hurt her as a ghost, but you know, it's a movie, right? So I love that part. I love when he like goes in to like party with the strippers. <laughs> so cute. If they have a remake, I just want uh, Dante's Inferno room to come back and I want to be a stripper. I'll be like an aging stripper at that point, but I'll be a stripper nonetheless. Then I got this teapot that says Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I'm really obsessed with tea lately, so I actually have been getting teapots too many though. I've been getting them off Etsy. And then I got the matching cup and saucer set. But again, I'll try and do like a room tour. So once this is all like set up, because this is literally being so long, like longer than I thought. So <laughs> sorry. And then finally, my sister was really excited about this. this is a Hot Topic exclusive and it's Beetlejuice Monopoly. We actually really love Monopoly. My sister's actually obsessed with Monopoly. She's actually really good at it. I think I beat her butt in most games we play, but Monopoly, she usually wins. And I thought this was really cool. And I love board games. It's so much fun. Like it's my favorite thing to do with people. Like forget clubs or drinking. Like I just want to like, well, I mean, I love drinking, but I just like to play board games. I like getting old. I really am, but you know, never grow up. Okay. So this next little portion of the haul, that's all the stuff from Hot Topic. This next little portion of the haul is from Beetlejuice the Musical, which I saw in October, which is so amazing. Um, oh God. It was the best Broadway show I've ever seen. Like maybe because it's new, but like I liked it better than Wicked. 
I liked it better than Hamilton. Like we're gonna go back to New York and we're gonna see a couple new show. I still wanna see Hades Town and Tootsie's Closing, so I wanna see those two shows. But we have one night where we can go see like a repeat show that I've already seen. And you know, we thought about Frozen, you know, thought about Wicked Hamilton, especially because I'm going with people who haven't seen these shows before. But we decided to go ahead and go back to Beetlejuice because it's just so good. And like I was talking, I was talking to my friend Zach actually, Zach Toy here on YouTube the other day, and he was talking about um I was talking about Beetlejuice. We were just talking about something Beetlejuice. It was kind of this weird, like, I don't know, coincidence, like I don't know, just something. You wouldn't. It, it's a long story and it's not even that interesting story so I'm not going to share it but it was something with Beetlejuice and then I posted that I was watching it and he like shared the story and then I said oh my god you have to go see it because he loves New York and I was like if you go back to New York you have to go see it and so I was like if you go I'll go with you a thousand percent because it's my favorite show. It's so good and I like sometimes seeing Broadway shows with the original casts are just so I won't say better but it's a different experience. I, I have only seen the original cast of a few shows. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with like Christian Borrell was really amazing. Um, I saw, um, I mean, I did see Donnie Osmond as Joseph, which was mind blowing. Um, I saw the original Glinda and Alphaba, I did Menzel and, and um, Christian Channel with, I love her, why did I forget her name? Uh, I saw the original cast of the producers. Um, I saw, I've seen a couple original casts and it's it's a definitely different, even when I saw Lin-Manuel Miranda in Hamilton in Puerto Rico, it wasn't the, all the original cast, like it didn't have to be Diggs, it didn't have Jonathan Groff, but like seeing him as Hamilton was so magical, like seeing the originators as the characters are really, really cool. So the current cast is all the original cast except for Adam, uh, Rob McClure, he went to go do Mrs. Doubtfire on Broadway, but they have a new Adam, which I'm really excited to see him. Um, Wait, maybe, no, maybe that's, okay. Maybe I'm getting them mixed up. Cause I believe the one, the original Adam was in something rotten. I think his name's Ron McClure. I hope I get that right. Um, but it's all the original cast. Um, let me see. name right um so yeah the original cast and alex brightman i'm like obsessed with he's so freaking good like i saw him in school of rock i did see the original cast of school of rock um school of rock was really good it's a different kind of show for me just like mean girls or just like these like newer age i mean beetlejuice is very newer age but i think because it is throwing it back to an original from the 80s i really like it like heathers i really like but like mean girls um school of rock um there was another one that like clueless I guess that's kind of a throwback too, but I don't know. Some of these like newer age ones that a lot of people love, it's just not my cup of tea. Like American Idiot, I didn't really love. Um, it's not that I don't love them because like seeing live theater is amazing and it's always a treat, but that's when I'm like a little nervous about Hades Town. I've seen some clips online and stuff and I'm just like, I don't know if that's really my cup of tea, but I like to watch all new shows anyways. But um, but he blows me away as Beetlejuice. Like he's so freaking good. And um, the actress who plays Lydia, uh, I think her name's Sophia Ann Caruso. Amazing, Carrie Butler plays Barbara, amazing. Um, oh my God, the, the two the two actors who play the Deetses are so freaking funny. Like, I definitely think they steal the show. Like, it's just a really good cast. Like, it's a great ensemble cast. Like, I'm really shocked that they didn't win a Tony because it's really, really good. And ironic that Tootsie won for best actor, but yet is closing, so. <laughs> shade, no shade. So anyways, I went to go see Beetlejuice and I have a couple shirts that are missing. I got the hoodie, I got the socks, and then I also got the one that says I myself am strange and usual. I've worn it in vlogs before. I don't know where they are. I just moved. Can't find them. But here's some of the stuff that I did have left out. And that is the Beetlejuice program, Beetlejuice the musical. This is kind of their signature um, signage, I guess you could say. But just really amazing pictures. I rarely buy... Um, <laughs> They're so good. This is the Jesus. They were so funny. I rarely buy programs, um, but one, the pictures are beautiful. It goes with my kind of theme of my room. And I don't know, I just really loved it. Oh, this is like the neon sign that I got made. So it's a little bit different than the movie. So I got the musical version made. Um, yeah, it's just, it was just such a good, good, good experience. I just wanted like all the merch from it. Um, I don't know. Because if you're ever in New York, like I really highly recommend it. I know TikTok has made it like a big thing, but like aside from that, it's a really, really good show. Um, and then a couple other things. I got a magnet. I got this mug that I think with heat, it shows the stripes. And then uh, the shirt. It's another world shirt. 
And all of this stuff too has the Beetlejuice musical in the back. So again, I just, again, I'm like really into this at the moment. This is kind of my new obsession. So I go full out. I don't ever go like half ass with my obsessions. Um, this one I really like. This is like the one that the cast wears when they're like performing on. <laughs> I sound like such a nerd. Oh my God, I'm like an actual nerd. When they're performing and like, I don't know, when they do like live performances of the show where they're not in costume. Um, I actually saw, I think it was like the, um, what are they called? What are they called? Understudies performed. And um, it was so good. Like they were so good too. I would love, there's a, like a 15 year old girl who's playing Lydia. I think she's the understudy. I would love to see her too. I mean, I love the girl who plays her now, but I would love to see. Um, and the guy who, the guy who understudies Beetlejuice was actually really good as well. Very, very different performances, but I like that. It's kind of like when you see seven, like seven weeks more. I've been watching that a lot lately. It's kind of when you see Little Shop of Horrors. Because when I was in New York this past, sorry, this is so chatty, but when I was in New York this past um, this past time in October, we actually did see Little Trouble Horrors as well with Christian Borel and Jonathan Groff. Ironic that I mentioned both those already. Um, there was the woman who played a young Judy in Judy Garland, the Judy Garland movie that was on TV not too long ago. Um, she was really good. It was a really, really good cast. The, the three street urchin girls characters, they were amazing. It was so good. Um, but it's... It, and I, that's a bad example because that Audrey was so like left field Audrey, like such a different interpretation. Um, I saw MJ Rodriguez, I believe that's her name, at the Pasadena Playhouse. They that was a completely different Audrey. So like lately they've been changing it up, but this but Audreys were kind of played the same, probably in part due to. Um, her name's Ellen Green, the original Audrey on Broadway, who also played it in the movie, who then re came back and re-originated it on Broadway with Jake Gyllenhaal. So she's played the part so many times that it's probably like why people impersonate her. My mother actually played Audrey in just a community performance of, of it back in our community theater, like when I was like 10. So she, they all play Audrey very similar, which is like, ah, oh, doctor, sorry, doctor. You know, like it's very that. The girl that we saw in New York, I don't know if it's still playing the woman, she played her almost drunken, it was very, it was a really odd take. But the point of all that is I really do appreciate a departure sometimes from how the original actor played it. Obviously with Galinda, you see Galinda and it's always kind of the same mannerisms and characteristics with slight modifications. But, um, but he was quite a different Beetlejuice. Just from what I saw, they both performed Say My Name two different times, but it was, it was interesting. But I would like to see him too. But if you guys have a chance, go see it now. Uh, uh, it started in, April, so I'm assuming the original cast will probably be in it till April, at the least. But I got this shit as well. It has all the characters' names: Lydia, Barbara, Adam, Charles, Delia, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. So it's just, I just love t-shirts. I, I got too many t-shirts now. I got it. Okay. I just been thinking like I needed shirts to sleep in when I moved. Oh my god, moving is hella expensive. I'm just never want to move again. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much everything now that I got. Oh my gosh, that was the biggest haul ever. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, sorry if like the room's echoey. Like I even feel like I'm like shouting without shouting. Like I'm trying to like be quiet about it, but also echo. But anyways, um, let me know if you guys like this haul. <laughs> I didn't really actually go out to the Wall Journey Black Friday shopping, so this is kind of my Black Friday haul. But um, there are a lot of things that I could show you guys and new stuff I've been getting if you guys like it. Like, I, like I've been saying, I am revamping um, my kind of YouTube-ness, the way I film and everything. So this channel, um, for a while, will have consistent videos, especially these kind of videos that are very easy for me to make. But I do want to start putting more effort into this channel and the videos I make on this channel. And then kind of having my vlog channel be kind of a hodgepodge of whatever. And then um, I have my podcast channel. I'm going to be starting another channel that I'm really, really excited about. But I want to wait until I get some few videos up there to tell you guys about that. Um, plus, with my Patreon and my OnlyFans and stuff like that, I'm like busy. But it's it's really fun and motivating because each each channel and each platform is so different that um, it's like exciting to work on all of them. So when I do get up for the day to film or whatever, I have lots of things I gotta film. You know, I gotta do my TikToks, I gotta do my Patreon, my OnlyFans, my private Snapchat. I'm gonna go ahead and record my Dish with Trish podcast, which is on podcast, Apple Podcasts. So there's just so many different platforms right now. I, this morning I did my Trish After Dark podcast, which is on trishafterdark.com. So it's just a lot and I really love it because it's, it's kind of nice to have structure to have a little piece of me living in different parts of the internet. Um, rather than just putting all my eggs on this channel, um, it's kind of nice to do that. But like I said, right now I'm kind of just going with this hauls. But if you like these hauls, let me know. I'll continue them. Um, and 
I'm still just trying to get settled and moved in before I like, but I want to start doing like videos that have like substance and meat behind them. I just to change it up. I think after being on YouTube for 13 years, I still love it. We'll be 13 years in January. I still love it so much, but um, it's it, like, I don't know. I kind of want to just change it up. And I think that's like, I think it's fun. Like changing up even my space has been so invigorating and like brought me back to life and um i just kind of want to do that with my youtube kind of like revamp it i'm still doing music i have music videos coming up this weekend that i'm shooting and i'm really excited for you guys to see that it's my christmas song and a sneak a little special cover you guys will know obviously if you follow me on instagram you will know probably sometime next week what that is but i love you guys so much thank you for watching vlogmas over on my second channel youtube.com slash life and i'll see you guys in the next video